If you've invested in or upgraded to iRobot's brand new robot vacuum, congratulations. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and thanks for clicking on this video. The new iRobot J7 Plus has a host of new and improved smarts that make it more valuable than ever before. For starters, it can now see, recognize, and avoid a host of things that may be on your floor, from cords and cables to shoes and socks, and yes, even pet poop. But if you're wondering what happened to the spot clean feature, truth is, it's gone. There used to be a button on the previous spots that would allow one of them to be placed in a certain area, and then it would start to clean in a small but widening circle. With the J7 Plus, I'm sorry to say the feature is officially gone, and I called iRobot to confirm that. But that may be for a reason, and that's because the smarter these new robots get, the more you can customize what they can do for you. So with the J7 Plus, you're supposed to now use your custom created home map to direct your bot to a specific place in your home to do a targeted vacuum. Here is exactly how to do it. In the iRobot app, click on the map. You're going to create a couple of target areas. In my home, I have the work triangle in the kitchen. I'm going to add another one here. Tap zones in the bottom right there to add or create a new zone. Again, in the bottom right, choose add a clean zone and you'll be presented with an adjustable square. Drag those corners to adjust the size and then place it where you might need it. You'll then label that zone and this will allow you to ask your voice assistant to clean that specific area too. With your zone created, you can ask Google or Alexa to clean the back door, for example, or your kitchen work triangle. You can create a shortcut on the iRobot Roomba app too for this if you like. To create that shortcut, touch favorites, then choose the plus sign to add a new zone. Scroll down to see your clean zones and then tap to add it as one of your favorites. Now, is this as quick as putting your bot down and pressing a button? Probably not, but it is convenient and completely hands-free. So next time you've got a pet hair tumbleweed, some spilled flour or crumbs, or some kicked off dirt by the door, just remember you may not have a spot clean button on your robot, but you can direct your iRobot Roomba J7 Plus to clean a specific room or a specific zone that you've created. If you want to read this topic or reference any of what I've talked about, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've got a full write-up. There you can ask me any questions you have about this machine and what it can do. You can also post those here in comments below. Did this video help you? If so, please mash that like button and consider becoming a subscriber because both those things do help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash TechGadgetsCanada.